G'day gamers, welcome to Let's Paint Minis. In today's episode, we are gonna paint some little itty bitty goblins from Bloodfields. All right, first up, I'm gonna cover all their skin in straight green ink. Get it all in them crevices. All right, now I'm gonna get myself any green, I like this light fluoro green, and I'm gonna dry brush the crap out of that skin. Try and pick up all those high details. All right, now I'm gonna get myself a, a nice dark gray and I'm gonna paint the swordfish that one of the goblins is holding. Try not to get on the green you just put all the effort into. All right, now I'm gonna get myself a nice sort of dark brownie yellowy color and I'm gonna do the bandana on the swordfish goblin and the little itty bitty pirate hat on the other goblin. Alrighty, now I'm going to grab some uh, pale flesh or anything of those colors. It doesn't really matter as long as it's a darkish brownie or semi-brownish color. And I'm just going to do the pants on uh, both, uh, both goblins. Now I'm just going to get a nice metallic color and I'm just going to do the bomb on the bomber goblin. All right, now I'm going to get a sepia and I'm going to paint over the pants and also the hats for both goblins. Here I've got a black wash and this is gonna be put onto the swordfish to bring out all that detail in it. Uh, I'm gonna put the black wash also on the bomb and uh, that's just to make it look more bombing-like. All right, so now I've got a white and I'm just going to paint the wick of the uh, bomb here. and I'm going to paint the eye dots on the swordfish. Just to give it a bit of life. All right, now I've got some red and I'm just going to paint the end of the wick. And in a second, you'll see me paint the eyes of the goblin. All righty, so back to white. And now I'm just gonna draw a little skull and crossbones style face on the bomb just to give it a little bit of cartoony character. Alrighty, so now we've got some uh, water damp PVA and I'm just going to put that on the base and uh, give the base a little bit of flocking to make it look like it's on a grass field. And uh, then we'll do the traditional black ring around the base and we'll give them a clear coat and these bad boys will be done. And here they are, the bomber man and the swordfish man. They are not bad, you can smash them out pretty quick. I had to do a whole heap of them for the solo game. And yeah, so uh, we've got a Patreon link in the description below. Make sure that you like, share and subscribe this video. See you next time.